Some film students at Quinnipiac University closing out the fall semester by working on a capstone project. It involves a topic that affects many families right here in our state. News 8's Brian Spiros explains. It's a project six months in the making. These Quinnipiac students, part of it all. It touches a lot of people's hearts, and it's something that needs to be told. They decided to tackle a topic that's not exactly easy. The lack of structure for disabled adults and how they stay active in the community. Their path led them to the Duplin family in Newington and their 21-year-old son, Patrick, who has Down syndrome. I knew down in my heart that I'm like, there's no way that there's any other story besides how these people have going with the challenge of having a child with Down syndrome and having a child with disabilities. The family very candid about what life has been like during their interviews, starting with the pregnancy. And I remember the day the two of us sitting here, our rest of our, our kids were in school, and the two of us were sitting on the couch um, trying to figure out what has happened. The documentary is called Behind the Curtain, hoping to shine a light on what it's like living in a society as a person with a disability. All of it centered around Patrick and his progress. Well, to me, the most eye-opening aspect of the parental um, side of this documentary has really been the fact that Patrick's dad's retirement is Patrick. Well, it was certainly the the budget that was not passed. That was the main thing that um, Justin and I, our editor, were looked at each other and was like, whoa. I didn't even realize that. Students are now trying to raise money in order to get their documentary produced and shown nationally, much of which they've raised on their own through various fundraisers. It's really been an amazing roller coaster ride from working with each and every member of the group to now. It's been absolutely phenomenal. The students have raised more than half of their fundraising goal. If you'd like to help or watch the trailer for the short documentary, just go to our website, WTNH.com. Reporting from Hamden, Brian Spiros, News 8.